we're looking at the kanji here which has a core meaning of wheel. Now on its own we use it to write the Japanese word for car which is kuruma. But it's also part of three other words which we need for our GCSE Japanese course. And they are automobile or jidosha. And this character represents the sha of jidosha. It can also be used to write the sha from jitensha or bicycle. And finally, we use it for the sha in densha or train. Now this character is simply a pictograph of a bird's eye view of an ancient cart. And that's where the idea of wheel or transport comes from. Let's have a look at that pictograph in its very oldest form. This is how this character looked in really ancient times, so between three and 4,000 years ago. Have a look at each one of those and you can very clearly see that it's a representation of some kind of transport or a cart. This is how the characters looked about 3,000 years ago. Here you can see very clearly those images of wheels and they're being held together with axles. And finally, this is the standardized form in the top box and underneath, this is what the character looked like about 2,000 years ago. So have a look and very clearly you can see that image of a cart. Now if you look at that top character again, imagine that you're looking down on the cart and up the top you can see one of the wheels, then in the middle you can see the cart structure and then you can see the bottom wheel and linking it together is the axle. So a bird's eye view of a cart, which has come to stand for simply a wheel or transport. Let's check the stroke order now. We begin with the top stroke, that represents the wheel on the right hand side. So there we go, that's our bird's eye view of the wheel. And then here we're going to do the bird's eye view of the cart, so down on the left, across and round without taking your pen off the page. Then we do the middle stroke always before we complete that square shape. Left to right, then we're going to do our bottom wheel and finally we're going to draw the axle all the way from the top to the bottom. And there we have the character meaning wheel. Now when that character stands on its own, it's pronounced kuruma, and it means simply car. And let's have a look at the other three words which we're also going to learn how to write using this character. Let's have a look now at the more formal word for a car. In English, we would say automobile or motor car. In Japanese, it's jidosha. Now this character is the sha on the end, so we'll move it over there to the right, and then we'll add ji and do. Let's just make it a little bit more normal by putting it in one color. And then here we have do, that means to move, and ji, that means by oneself. So self-moving wheel, in other words, a motor car or an automobile. Now, if we remove do, which means to move, and we replace that with ten, we get jitensha, or self-revolving wheel, which refers to a bicycle. So jitensha, bicycle. That ten, by the way, would normally be written with a kanji, but it's not part of the GCSE syllabus, so we can write it in hiragana. Finally, we can write the word for train. Now, train has nothing to do with self, and it has nothing to do with ten, meaning revolving, but it's got everything to do with electricity. And that's the character that we're going to be learning in another video tutorial, meaning electricity. So electricity wheel, that's densha, or train, obviously, electric train. And that's it for the character meaning wheel or transport.